Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to read the Merkur value from the Siemens TIA portal at 7.1500 PLC using the Python SNAP7 module. That's the continuation of the previous video, which I'm gonna link here. And uh, let's get it started. Here I have a software from the previous video. All of the settings are the same. I just have to change the IP address because I have changed it on my site in the PLC sim. I have added a new tag value, which is R test value, data type of real, address ND100. And uh, what we would like to do today is to read this value and to write it uh, right into it using the Python SNAP7 module. I have updated the script. It's gonna be available in the in the GitHub. There is gonna be a link in the description. I have added two two functions which are read memory. Here we have to define the start ad address and the length and write memory. Uh, same way we have to define the start ad address, length and value. So those two functions are explicitly for the Merkur values. Mm. So what, what is going on here? In the read memory, first we are using the read area function from the SNAP7. I have written this function based on the documentation. Here is, a, here is the description for the read area with the example code uh, included. What is worth mentioning that we are getting the byte array as an output from the from the read area function, and we have to convert it to a floating uh, floating point uh, number. In order to do it, I have found a thread on the Stack Overflow. I'm gonna link it in the description as well. Uh, here are two two possibilities that when we have a byte, we can have a a uh, big endian or a little endian so we are gonna use big endian settings here we are reading the value we are defining the the type which I in our case is memory then we have to define the start address and length zero here is if we are using this function for reading the value of the DB. It's, a, it's not the case in our scenario. You can see the parameters, DB number, this output should be equal to zero in case of uh, yeah, marks, which, which is for the markers. Then we are converting the value that we have received, the byte array using the big endian to the uh, floating point number, and we are just printing the output. Let's see how this function works. Here I have defined the start address as 100 and the length of 4 and we have the real value which is, uh, which is 4 words. So now we have uh, value 0, I'm gonna put 55.6, force it, okay, we have 55.6. I'm gonna run the script. Yeah, it returns as a value from the start address 100 and the 100, which is correct. Let's say now we would like to overwrite the value. So we are going to the second function, which is write memory. Here is the same idea. We have to define the start address, length and value. Here we also have to decode the value using the big endian into the byte array. In this case, the function I have used is mbwrite, which can be also found in the documentation. And here is exact description. Yeah, what are the parameters used? In this case, we can change the... I will put the, the value here, like at 786.78. I'm gonna run the script showing you the TIA portal. Uh, so the value has changed. We can see that 
using those two functions, we can read and write the value to the marker memory, which is defined in the TR portal. Depending on the on the settings, on the data types, yeah, the different set, the different parameters or different functions might uh, have to be used, but uh, it all depends on the particular case. I'm gonna link the. I'm gonna link to the documentation in the description. It's really helpful if you would like to build some code. What is really nice that here are some examples as well. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or remarks, please let me know and see you next time. Bye bye.